being afraid of it. You know, sometimes it is kind of scary, but it's, it's better to do it than not, I always say. Ask uh, forgiveness instead of permission. And the man speak for himself. Give it up for Brian O'Brien. <laughs> mention this. So I'm going to start by saying that I am not the type of dude who's going to take to the streets. I'm not going to act overly happy about this. But at the same time, I'm not going to be holier than thou about it either. The world is simply a better place since Sunday because there was one less fucking scumbag in the world and that's that. Yeah. This poem called It's Like I Do It Every Fucking Time I'm Here, and sometimes I'm too drunk to remember it. <laughs> it's like when it feels like it's the beginning of the end, really, it's just the end of the day. It's the birth of a countless yesterday. Well, anyway, I'll just stress to say that the best rest will sway. I'll say the words that best amaze. Now, maybe it's my sudden phase of comparative arrogance that makes it apparent that this shit is narrative imperative. I'm Well, my auto detection is detecting the lessons of directed stresses. It's like I see things, extend greetings, tarot readings. My pen is bleeding, so these tips of feelings seem to be retreating. So for these reasons, I'm leading, succeeding in greed, eating now, feeling to be the real thing. Thank you, thank you. I've been on this poem in a long time. It's called Brainstorm. I have nothing new for you guys. I've been on writer's block for like eight months. Um, but luckily I wrote for like eight years before that, so it's all good. This is called uh, Brainstorm. My heartbeat feels like thunder rumbling underneath my skin. The earth crumbles, the shell ruptures. I'm encumbered, unencumbered by my sins. The storm has me pinned as the trial finally begins. Thoughts are skipping, flippantly twisting into a backspin. Where momentary relapses get tracked back to synaptic flashes. Is this an adequate reaction or just another chaotic distraction that I'll cast past my path to keep my mind active? Because my synapses are traveling at speeds that you couldn't fathom. It's like lightning strikes clapping with the force of a magnum. My thoughts are expanding like the splitting of atoms. But I'm a pattern caster, a master mathematician, an adequate statistician, another man on a mission accurately cataloging bad decisions across long divisions, constantly plotting against my own logarithms in a battle of man versus inner nature that I'm still winning. So do I have any, uh, do I have any comic book nerds in the house? Yeah! Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay, there are two of you. Awesome. Everybody else, suck it. You're just gonna have to deal. This is called Marvel Lust, and it's a poem about my first love. <laughs> my defiant spark, so now I impart these incendiary mixed messages. I can pass that last act of comic book fandom. It's Skin is rock tough. I spit Ron up his 
spray static from my tongue displays tendencies equivalent to elastic. Invisible to most, but shit, I'm fantastic. You see, I'm like Professor X, because I know exactly what these Jean Greys will say next. And yet I say back, well, fuck it, they can have it. I'm Maverick, I'm into life's dynamic, plot and planet like Mr. Sinister, a dream to minister, executioner past the perimeter. Power inhibitor, Genosian ocean liner, mind styler, fire rhymer, archangel with a heart of ice, man. I mean, damn. I am the multiple man. Bruce Banner on a slow boil. Ghost riding to a night's toil. You couldn't handle the hassle, cause I'm that Frank Castle type of asshole having fun with it. Cause my shit's punishment. <laughs> If I call any of my poems a crowd favorite, maybe, maybe it's this next poem. It's called Sex Poem, and it's a poem about fucking. Yeah! Hopefully you dirty, heathen, Lawrence motherfuckers will like this one. When, you, when I hear you over the screaming shirtless guy with the microphone, I mean, you're drunk. You're drunk. But I love that, and I love you. Oh my god, I'm so drunk right now. Two double jammies in the first hour. Bad host. <laughs> Anyways, this is called Sex Poem, and it's a poem about fucking people. But in a good way. I fucking fuck like a fucking thunderstorm, leaving girls feeling electrified, soaked in warm. the expression of two people undressed and sweating, deeply kissing, clawing, writhing, and stretching, powerfully passionate, playful paced aggression. Don't let foreplay go unmentioned, because I believe in handcuffs, teasing, and slowly tempting. Until she's breathless, then I can push my tongue in any direction, melting her into nothing but a huddle puddle of jumpy reflexes. I mean, seriously, where do you think I picked up this practice? What kind of exercise can make a man's mandible muscle so massive, his tongue so elastic, with each muscle fully mastered? Fuck it! I what? Yeah. I like the girls that grab the back of my head and pull yeah. me deeper Cause they have the same type of later scream Deeper! Deeper! I believe in multiple positions I can do both fast and slow But I really love the girls who can let their inhibitions go Simply another wicked ex-Catholic boy with dark secrets in tow And I don't normally display this side I'm too proud to come off desperately Sex is like a secret weapon And I'm careful with who I share ecstasy Cause I can make a girl come just by messing with the neck expertly biting, sucking, licking, nibbling, never giving a hickey. This is already explicit, so let me just finish it up simply. I fuck like a poet. Yeah, yeah. One more. One more. One more. You're awesome. Cool. Okay, uh... This next poem is called The Quest. And I haven't done it in a while either. Now I'm not going to do that one, fuck that. I'm going to do a poem called Root Down instead that I've done too many times. <laughs> Trees and math and shit. <laughs> I can get root down like an elm tree, because I can see that a tree truly expresses geometry. I mean, just look at the patterns in the leaves. And to those that can't believe, at least listen for the voices in the breeze. So I am boldly growing rhymes, cause it's the seeds of me that sprout the signs. And when I lie with 
my spine replied, I won't just sleep and dream. I'll still live cause I breathe. And I'll recite the patterns in the tree's leaves cause that shit's poetry Whoa. to me. Whoa. Thank you, you guys have been a fucking wonderful audience. Rockin' it every time. It'll be a birth. Oh yeah! I'll be at the merch show. I work there, so if you don't come to the show, at least let me sell you some pancakes and give me your chain.